Hey guys, it's Lauren. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are talking about new holiday releases at Sephora. There are a lot of new products. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but every single time I feel like I go on the Just Arrive page, I see a ton of new products and they're all really like based around the holidays. So I know it's a little bit early. I mean, we're barely in October, but I thought it'd be interesting to, you know, just talk about all these products because I feel like by the time the holiday season actually rolls around, these will be kind of like old stale products that you guys don't really want to hear much about. But in today's video, I'm sharing my opinion on all of these products, like literally a ton of them, so it will be a long one. I don't know, I just kind of felt like a filming, I was in kind of a filming mood today. I like finished up studying for a bunch of tests that I have tomorrow and I was like, you know what? Let's just do like a chill, laid back video. So let's get comfortable. Let's go ahead and start talking because this one is going to be long. And I forgot to mention if my makeup looks a little bit interesting, it's because I've had it on since six in the morning and we are at like 5.30 right now. So we're kind of going on like 12 hours of wearing my makeup. And whenever I wear my makeup to school, it's just, it's natural in the first place, but it does kind of wear off throughout the day. Like that's makeup, that's what it does. So if my face looks a little bit redder, pinkier than normal, that'll explain it. And as always, I forgot to mention in all of these videos that I do have notes that I'm referring to just because I want to make sure like for the fact stuff like how much of each product you're getting, whatever, like everything that's get it going in these like value sets, I want to make sure that I'm getting the facts right. But the first set is the Laneige Kiss Me at Midnight set and this is going to be $28. Actually, it's already available so it is $28 and this set comes with a full size of the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask which you know intrigues me. I've tried a couple um, of like the sample size and I've had a travel size before and I really do like that lip sleeping mask. It is kind of hard for me because I do love my Vaseline and I feel like it probably works just as well, but I feel bougier when I'm using these sleeping masks. But in addition to the sleeping mask, which on its own would cost $20, you're getting two limited edition mini size of like their like lip sleeping mask, but in different like scents. So you're getting one that is the mint cocoa and you're also getting a sweet candy, which are two scents that like, I don't know, really intrigue me. Like if it was something like lemon and... I don't know what something pop like kiwi I don't know I don't really love scents like that so I wouldn't be very drawn towards it but I love mint scented things I love it and I love like cotton candy so I feel like sweet candy will probably smell something like that and that's why I'm really drawn to this one like this is one that out of everything that I'm talking about this is probably the thing that you'll see in a future haul. Next up is an eyeshadow palette. It is the NARS Inferno eyeshadow palette and this retails for $59. NARS pretty much every year around the holiday season comes out with an eyeshadow palette in this similar packaging and with the same amount of like shades as this one. Um, last year's was Ignited and that was very much a me palette. It had like pinkies and a few neutrals in there. Like it was very much a me palette. I didn't end up getting it because I don't love to get limited edition pa pa like products, palettes, I don't love limited edition things for the purpose of like I can't talk about it on my channel after a certain point. So you'll see that kind of like when I say oh, I'm not getting this because that's oftentimes the reason. But for this Inferno eyeshadow palette, it doesn't look like necessarily a me palette. But I will say I wouldn't expect this from NARS. Like I feel like their palettes are a little bit more neutral. This is kind of a color scheme that we especially haven't seen from NARS. But I feel like it's a color scheme that's unique and that we haven't seen from a lot of other brands either. And this palette really does. I don't know if it's just the red decor, like the packaging of it. But I feel like the shades very much scream the holidays to me. So I really like this release as far as like holiday related. I feel like sometimes brands come out with things that just don't really scream holidays or winter or anything like that. They're just kind of like marketing it as a holiday release, but this one really does seem like a holiday product. Next up we have a little set that really does intrigue me as well. This is the Kaja Moonlit Moon Crystal Sparkling Eye Pigment Duo and this comes with two of the Kaja Full Size Sparkling Eye Pigments, which I'm very drawn to. So this set costs $19 total just for those two full size products and individually these retail for $16. So in my opinion this is a really good deal, especially if you've been looking at you know one of these shades in particular. Like for me, I've had on my wish list for a while to get the shade Luminary, which is that more champagne-y, taupey shade in this set. So the fact that it's in there really does kind of just call my name. And I'm gonna basically be getting the other shade Mystical, that more lavender shade. And out of all of the shades, that would probably be my second pick anyway. I don't know if I would have bought it, but it would definitely be my second pick because I do. I'm really drawn to like the light violet shades that are iridescent or sparkly on the lids. I love that as well. So I definitely would get use out of it and I'd really only be, be paying $3 extra for that product. So this set definitely does intrigue me and 
I probably will get it too. Next up, we have a Tarte gift set. This one is called the Chrome for the Holidays and it retails for $24. This set has like four miniature versions of their Tarte Chrome paints and I do have a full size of a Tarte Chrome paint. I have the Top Yacht shade, which I absolutely adore. That shade is not going to be in this set and these aren't gonna be full size products either. However, it is a really good product. I'm sure you guys have heard me talk about it before. I really do enjoy it. I do know that there's no way I'm going to go through the full thing, especially because I have so many other shadows similar to it, you know, those like glitter pots or whatever. So I feel like this set, because these are miniature sizes of it, they're going to be, you know, you're actually going to use it up. Like you're going to get used out of these products. You're probably going to get your money's worth out of it, especially if you like all four of these shades. And they do have two of like their... They called it like their iconic shades. Um, one of them is going to be Froze, which is one I think is really pretty. It's kind of this iridescent rose gold shade, which is really pretty. And then there's also going to be two new shades. And I don't know if these shades are going to be limited edition or not, but they're new and, you know, they've never been seen before. So this is a set that I definitely think is if you are into like the glitter toppers and you like this formula or you're interested, interested in trying this formula, I think this is a way to actually get the you know, your money's worth, because I just don't think I'm ever going to use up that full-size product. Next up, we have another set from Tarte. This is the Tarte Slay Then Frosé Collection, and this is going to retail for $25, and in it, you're getting four miniature-sized products. You're first getting a mini-size of the Big Ego Mascara, which really intrigues me. If you guys have tried it, please let me know in the comment section down below what you think, because I'm just really drawn to that thing for some reason. You'd also be getting a mini-size of the Amazonian Clay Blush in the shade Frosé, a mini-size of the Chrome Paint in the shade Frosé, as well and lastly a mini Tardis remix lip gloss and honestly I haven't heard anything about the Tardis like lip gloss or whatever but I haven't heard anything you know what I mean like I don't know I haven't heard anything bad but it just kind of seems like a throw-in product and honestly I'm not sure but I feel like it would be worth it to me to spend $25 for the first three products that I mentioned the mascara the blush and the little eyeshadow um that would be something that I could see myself picking up I'm not sure if I will but I definitely from what I know about these products, again, I have not tried any of these four products, but I do think that this set seems pretty worth it. Next up, we have a set from Too Faced. It is the Gingerbread Bronze and Kiss set, which retails for $39. In it, you're getting two products. First, that Gingerbread Bronzer that you've been hearing a lot of people talk about, and then a Peach Kiss Matte Lipstick, which is going to have a gingerbread scent. And here's the deal. I don't think the bronzer would really suit my skin tone. I don't know how many skin tones it would suit just because it is a very warm tone bronzer. I don't, I don't know. Um, it could be amazing. I've never tried it. And I do like that it's like smells like gingerbread. I'm very much like someone who enjoys scents. Like if it's a scent that I like in real life, I'm going to like it in makeup. Like I'm not grossed out by that. I think that's kind of cute. And then the thing that kind of does like I don't know, intrigue me, I find a little interesting, is that the lipstick is one of their Peach Kiss matte lipsticks, and it's not like it just has that formula, like it has that packaging, which I find really weird because it's going to have like a Christmas cookie gingerbread scent. I just don't think that peach and gingerbread really mix, so it'll be interesting to see, you know, I'm not going to get this set, I already know. It does come with a uh, Christmas cookie wait, no. It comes with a little gingerbread bag. They said it's like highly coveted or something like that. So if it really is highly coveted, then maybe that will sway some people to get this, but I really don't think this will be that great of a seller. The next product is one I touched on in my last um, new makeup release video for September, but this is the Too Faced Gingerbread Extra Spicy Palette, and this retails for $49. I have to say, I love the like $49 pan palettes that Too Faced does. I've tried out a lot of them, not all of them, but a lot of them, and pretty much every single one I've tried, I've really enjoyed. Um, and also, I do like the scent, but I really do like the way the shadows perform as well. And to me, this palette does look pretty similar to the other, like the Gingerbread Man palette, the Gingerbread palette. I don't know what it was called. But whatever that other palette was called that they came out with, I believe, last year for the holiday season, centered around, like, gingerbread and stuff, this really, like, it reminds me of it a lot. So I don't really understand why they came out with another one. I do, like, if I were to, you know, choose between the two, I would probably choose this one, the Extra Spicy palette, because to me, it actually looks a little bit more you know, natural and lighter, even though it's supposed to be, like, extra spicy. I don't know. This seems like more of a me color scheme. You guys know I like the more lighter and subtle shades, so I think I definitely get a lot more use out of this, and I don't think I'm going to pick it up, but if you were to say, like, which one would you get, I would have 
purchase this one. Next up, we have a palette from Tarte. This is the Winter Wonder Glam Luxe Eye Palette. And first off, I love this name. I, I mean, don't hold me to this because I have no idea if any other brand has used this name, but I find it kind of hard to believe no other brand has just because it's kind of cute, like Wonder Glam. I think that's funny. Um, but this palette is going to retail for $54, and it kind of does stick into Tarte's realm of the neutral shades. They do a little bit better in this palette, I think, than they normally do. I think they did branch out their color scheme a little bit more with, like, I believe there was, like, a bright purple in there, real shimmery, intense. But, I mean, overall, it is just a similar neutral palette from Tarte with a few pops of color, which I personally don't mind because you guys know I love the neutrals. And most of the palettes I've tried from Tarte, I really do like the formula on. So, I don't really mind this. I don't think I'll be picking it up, though, because I find that not just Tarte, but a lot of brands make their holiday eyeshadow palette releases excessively, like the packaging excessively thick, big, and I just like storing that as a pain and it's not worth it to me, especially when the price I feel like is amplified just for the packaging. You know what I mean? Um, I feel like they kind of just bump up the price for that reason. But this will come with 24 um, multi-finish shades, whatever that is. Like it doesn't say duochrome or multi-dimensional. It's just multi-finish. So we'll see what that is. It also comes with a mini mascara, a mini eyeliner, and a brush. So if that's something that, you know, makes you think that this is more worth it, it's I guess good to know. So next up we have two new lip products to talk about from Too Faced. One of them is most certainly new. One is new. And what I mean is I'm talking about the Too Faced Melted Gingerbread Man Liquefied Long Wear Lipstick that retails for $21. And this lipstick, it says on Sephora's website that it is a limited edition product and it has a little new icon. You know how Sephora puts like new little banners on products that are new? Well, that's what they did for this product. But the interesting thing is they have reviews that date back to like 2017 on this product. They have over 150 reviews on this page. It's kind of confusing because it's like, what? This is new. Like, I don't understand. And from a marketing standpoint, I know that other brands have done this before, but typically when they do it, any control that they have over the product, you know, being out and about, they kind of take away. Like, they make it seem like it really is a new launch. They won't have any reviews on the page. They won't have, like, any five-star or anything like that. They will not have on the page. And I just find it kind of kind of odd, to be honest. Like, it's not, like, necessarily a really weird thing because brands do it all the time. It's just like, what? <laughs> like, I don't know. I don't really understand the marketing behind that. But... They have a sequel to this product that really is new. It is the Too Faced Melty Gingerbread Girl Longwear Liquefied Lipstick that retails for $21 as well. Now, really, the only difference between, you know, this newer version, the, lip, the Gingerbread Girl, and the original, like, man version is that this one is going to be, like, a deeper red shade. So, it's a little bit of a different shade. It's not too terribly different. Um, but I think that's kind of cute that they kind of expanded upon that. Too Faced is also coming out with a little lip set. This is the, the name's long and interesting, but it is the, it is the Too Faced Better Not Pout, But If You Do, Keep It Glossy set, which retails for $25. And in it, you're getting four kind of mini size lip glosses, and these are in that formula. I don't know if you guys remember. I forgot what that like the pretty rich collection and they came out with this like lip gloss formula and it's the rich and dazzling high shine sparkling lip glosses and that's the formula that these are in but they have like limited edition shades and scents and the four are eggnog spice cream sugar plum and pumpkin bark pumpkin bark where did that come from peppermint bark and the scents really really do intrigue me because they're made with natural oils and of course like like i mentioned before i love the scents and the shades especially eggnog look beautiful but I'm not going to pay $25 just for that eggnog and that eggnog scent. I'm just, I'm not, um, especially because it is such a small lip gloss. But if you're interested in the set, you think you will get use out of these shades, then I definitely recommend going for it because Too Faced is, especially when it comes to, I mean, pretty much any product I get from Too Faced, I do pretty much enjoy. I, I always tell you guys if I don't, but for the most part, I feel like their brand is pretty reliable. Next up, we have a little thing from Tarte that I really haven't heard very many people talking about. It is the Tarte Finger Foil Quad, and this is like a part of their C collection, and it retails for $32. So this set comes with like four different pans of like glittery, metallic, kind of that's what I think of when I see this. And they classify them as one is a blush, two are eyeshadows, and one is a glitter topper. And in my opinion, I would just use all of these on my eyelids because they look beautiful. They, they, they really do look pretty. And I feel like the formula is going to be similar to a collection or a product that they came out in the Mermaid collection that was like really metallic, really glittery, really like foiled. And they lasted a while and people love the formula on those. And so I feel like this is going to have that similar formula. So I'm very intrigued by it. I would really like to try it for my eyes. But then again, $32 for a palette that I'm not like super drawn to, I don't know. 
We'll see. Maybe I will end up getting it. Next up is a product I'm kind of drawn towards, and I have no clue why. This is the Laura Mercier Soft Cheek Canvas Palette, and it retails for $58. So, first off, pretty expensive for only six pans. And they claim these shades are universally flattering. You know, I don't really know. A lot of times I find that a blush is pretty flattering on me, especially if, even if it's deeper, I can go in with a lighter hand. I just don't know. I don't know if these shades are universally flattering. I don't feel like I really have the expertise to say whether they are or not, just because I'm not very experienced in that. But I wanted to point that out because I found it kind of interesting. This is a limited edition palette, and I just find it weird that I'm drawn to this because I'm not typically drawn to Laura Mercier in general. There are a few products from her brand that I do enjoy, but as a whole, I'm never like, ooh, I really want to try that. Like, that's very rare for me, especially something in the blush realm. The next product is one from Bare Minerals, and this is... This I'm going to go a little bit on a tangent because this is the Bare Minerals Original Foundation Deluxe Collection Edition Powder. So you guys know, I mean, I do really like the original foundation formula. It's like their powder foundation. I think that's really good. And it retails originally, I think, for like 30 something dollars. And this size is bigger. So the $46 price range does make sense. But one thing that I just really can't stand is, and Bare Minerals does this every single year, they come out with a product that's literally something like it's one of their best sellers or whatever and they just repackage it like they do it with their mineral veil powder and every year it's like limited edition packaging and I just don't really understand like I just that never entices me to buy a product and especially with something like this where I don't use that powder very often so I'm not gonna go ahead and buy a deluxe size like it's I mean it's weird that I even buy like a full size just because I don't use it that often but I want to make sure that I'm not like solely placing the blame on Bare Minerals I want to kind of focus on Tarte as well because this is a product that I really do enjoy from them I don't use as much as I, sh I should, but it's the Tarte Timeless Smoothing Primer, and this retails for $39, but this is the limited edition version. It has, like, a rhinestone top. It is kind of cute, but it's, like, really? Like, I don't know. Like, that's not going to draw me in. Like, this one does not have any, you know, difference in the amount of product that you're getting. The price isn't different, but it's, like... I'm just not really drawn to purchase this product solely based off like a packaging change. So I just don't understand why brands continually do this year after year. It just kind of irritates me. Let me know down below if I'm not alone in that because I feel crazy when I think it because I'm like maybe some people really like the limited edition aspect but for me I don't know. I don't love it. All right guys I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did please give it a big thumbs up. That'll also kind of let me know if I should do more of these new makeup releases holiday edition videos because as I was mentioning before Basically, the entire Sephora Just Drive page is just holiday release after holiday release. Like I said, I could do so many videos on this, so if you're interested in at least a follow-up, um, then definitely let me know by giving it a thumbs up. If you'd like me to do a version of this at Ulta, I think that'd be kind of fun, like new makeup holiday releases at Ulta. I feel like they have a lot of new releases too, so if you're interested in that, let me know by commenting down below. I love interacting with you guys down in the comment section, so if you have anything else you want to tell me, I'd love to hear from you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos and supporting me in general. It really does mean a lot. This is such like a happy time for me when I'm able to just sit down, chat, you know, edit a video and then, you know, interact with you guys and talk about something that I love so much, which is makeup. So thank you for allowing me to do that. I really do appreciate it. If you're new here, I'd love for you to join the family by clicking that subscribe button and hitting that notification bell so you are notified for all of my future posts and videos. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great couple of days until I upload my next one and I will see you then. Bye.